Okay, in this lesson, I want to explain uh, a scatter brush tool here. A scatter brush. If you select it, so this is a scatter brush. We have a scatter brush option and a scatter brush shape that which shape do you want to brush? Blobs. As you can see, if you click and drag, it's <clears throat> create a random blocks for you based with the minimum width and the maximum width. This is the minimum, the smallest blob or biggest blob. You can uh, randomly change them like this. And then you can right click here and reset tool if you want. This is blobs. You can, as you can see, all of these are creating a layer one. You can uh, create insect, different insect. You can create a landscape. And as you can see, they are randomly uh, changing the orientation because the jitter uh, angle. You can set it to the zero. And as you can see, they are creating all of the <clears throat> landscape uh, ob uh, object straight forward, uh, straight, not uh, rotating. Uh, a spacing, you can um, create a spacing uh, five. As you can see, there we have five spacing between them if you want. Or you can reset the tool. I want to be this straight. The fill color uh, jitter. As you can see, uh, for example, in, in these bubbles or landscape, we have a different uh, color. It gives you a different color random for color field, for a stroke field. Uh, for example, here, as you can see, we have a different color for everything. They are randomly change the field color and a, a slightly change the color. <clears throat> for example, between this mushroom and this mushroom, I think they are the same, but a different color. As you can see, it gives a different color. Nice. Or you can flip it X or uh, you have to activate the jitter angle and as you can see you can flip it or flip it to the y flip it at the x <clears throat> if you want this is all about the setting of jitter it's creating something for you for example you want to you have a leaves a lot of scattered things you can scatter leaves if you want you can scatter letter so you learn this is an angle if you want to uh, scatter them straight you can turn the angle more or change it if you want if you want you can change it and here is a reset tool you can create a letter simple letter or letter as you can see they're changing the jitter if you want to constant color you can set it to the zero or more uh see life you can see nice smoke you can create some smoke jittering, scattering, star. Nice. But if you want to create custom thing, you have to <coughs> copy it in clipboard and use uh, use clipboard. For example, um, I create or I insert some shape. For example, I uh, insert a simple shape. I can control a and delete all of them <clears throat> for example i want this arrow i create uh, this arrow this is my arrow and control x clip it or uh, copy it in a clip or you can control x and control v then go into the scatter and as you can see the use clipper is turned on and that arrow is in our tool and you can scatter that arrow if you want so you have to insert your clip uh, clip art or um, object and then <clears throat> ctrl c or ctrl x and then uh, activate use clipboard and you can set it that arrow for yourself you can select it ctrl a and delete all of the points don't forget to that as you can see we are in layer number one and I will explain more transfer layer. This is a layer and you can transfer layer anyone, anywhere that you want, or you can set the origin. <clears throat> I will explain them more. So a, a scatter, this is an a scatter. As you can see, it's very simple and straightforward. 
Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.